get ready for the Festival of Lights Parade. Um, that is the uh, Christmas Parade, downtown Colorado Springs. Uh, 80,000 people line the streets to watch the parade. Uh, of course, we're throwing a Nightmare Before Christmas theme with the haunted house. We're gonna do uh, Christmas lights all over the hearse. We've got an inflatable Jack Skellington that sits on the top of the hearse. Um, and I've got probably about 12 to 15 actors that are gonna uh, participate in March. So this is uh, off-season promotions. We wanna keep our name out there, keep, uh, keep our our brand out in the community even though we're not open for the for the haunt tours and everything but uh, and plus it's kind of a fun thing to do with all the actors so, so we're prepping for a massive parade right now be uh, uh, actually televised live as well so good stuff we're excited Well, I've got a, inside the door, I've got a little generator. I'll tell you my plan. Um, I've got a giant, I've got a giant plastic tub, and I've got car straps, I'm gonna set it right on the roof, and then put the generator inside of it, just that way that we don't have any exhaust fumes inside the car or whatever, and then uh, strap it through the window, wrap it around, and then I'm gonna set like a, a board. We've got the inflatable Jack Skellington, it'll sit on top oh, of that. Nice. Um, I grabbed some some of the, the old school big bulb Christmas lights. If we wanted to wrap the base of it so it didn't look, nice. look so hideous, yeah. And then uh, I've got the big speaker all, all strapped down on there too. I, I uh, burned a copy of Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, th this is Halloween. This is called EL wire. It's um Electroluminescence. I mean, you can't see it now, but it lights up really cool at night. You make Tron costumes and stuff out of it. So, we got uh, nine of these like orange and blue. I'm just going to do one of these and kind of line this truck car with it. <clears throat> so that's going to work. <laughs> Well, Jeff, I'm gonna run down to come and go real quick. I gotta get some uh, transmission fluid and some power steering fluid. Okay. So I'll be back. So make sure it starts before we get out there. Here's a choke. business. And do you have the strings? It should be in that little package. Uh, no, nope. it's the black ones. How are you?
first and most important one that I have is the emergency stop. Yep. It's just going to be straight above my hand, yep. hands crossed. Okay? okay. I got my forward, which is just bring yep. my hands to my face, slow okay. down, I'm pushing away. Yep. Uh, any questions? So slow down is pushing away like that? Slow down is okay. pushing away. Okay. Forward At the like end of the parade, I'll give you a salute telling you that I'm leaving. Okay, cool. Um, I'm going to keep you 30 to 45 feet away from the entry in front of us. Yep. And uh, that's about it. Any okay. questions? No questions. All right, uh, All right. Vince, thanks, sir. Vince. Fog it up, I can't even see. <laughs> This is amazing. Holiday cheer. Pretty awesome. Get a lot of cheers, a lot of screams. It's awesome. Let's see how I'm push. Yeah, I Okay. 
That was fun. That was a lot of fun. <coughs> Even when it broke down, I'm out of breath. But hey, we still got good publicity. Somebody said sympathy cheers. The crowd was cheering for us, so. We still got some cheers, no jeers. Two years ago, up in the morgue, I heard metal tapping on the gurneys, children's laughter, and banging on the cabinets when there was nobody in the room. I uh, know that it's paranormal, or I should say, thing, because they actually respond to you sometimes, the ghosts. I've had like little experiences where my animatronics will go off if I'm talking and I'll say hello or something like that. One time I was in a basement, it was of course quiet, and then kind of sometimes they were like, People, uh, sounds like people are walking around, running around, and like another that shows that people upstairs, but it mostly sounded like it was downstairs. People were giggling. During one of our last nights of the season, we had uh, one of the mannequins decided it wanted to have a heartbeat, and it was over in the one corner. Uh, I always felt cold over there. Never anything besides that. In the upstairs cafeteria during the haunt, um, we had a break. Uh, since someone was coming, um, one of the tables uh, in that room shook insanely to a point where a bunch of stuff fell off. We were doing like an escape the room. We were doing like a rehearsal. I was doing boards. I started to whistle. Nobody was in the graveyard. Well, right next to me, I heard someone whistle back the exact same whistle how I was whistling. Normally, I have to turn off the costume room light because it resets when the lights turn on. I turn off the light and I come into the hallway and I'm like, hello, dark! The light in the costume room turned right back on. This year when I was down in the dungeons, I was sitting during the blackout tour. I could hear voices whispering my name. It was absolutely freezing cold. They moved and then warmed right up again. I'm Jason Connor. I'm the president of Westcliff Paranormalist out of Westcliff, Colorado. We go all over Southern Colorado investigating paranormal locations and, and you know, suspected paranormal phenomenon. We use various different types of equipment, uh, EMF meters, thermal cameras, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, we're a husband and wife team and we've been, we've got several other team members that work with us. So. I'm Mike and this is Michelle and this is Kat and we're part of Westcliff Paranormalists and we're at Hellscream tonight doing a paranormal investigation. We've heard some reports of some activity going on, especially on the second floor, which Kat already got some feelings that there's some activity on the second floor. The owner asked us to come in. Uh, he's got a lot of paranormal reports from his actors and whatnot, so he wanted us to come in and investigate it and check it out and see what was going on. Yep. I'm Carrie Connor. I'm the lead investigator. I'm also a medium and I'm hoping to talk to some spirits tonight and see what we got going on. We're going to have uh, voice recorders going. We're do, we'll do some EVP sessions to see if we can get some um, voices to respond to us or entities to respond to us on the recorders. And this is my first time in the building so we'll see what happens. I'm excited and looking forward to anything that may or may not come about. I feel like it's egging it on. Whatever's upstairs in the second floor doesn't like it. That's just right off the gate. gate. And I worried about that on the way over. That maybe um, if there was energy here, it may be residual or it may be the energy from the people coming in and screaming and yelling. If I was an elderly person, that would really upset me and scare and since me. this used to be a nursing home. Yeah. That would make sense. I'm Sammy, and I'm the nurse for Hellscream, and this is Christine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Christine. I'm uh, a maid, one of the characters in one of the rooms downstairs, and I'm also a makeup artist. And tonight we are going to be accompanying the paranormal team doing a paranormal investigation of Hellscream. I mean, I've seen <laughs> things on cameras. I used to sit in the control room for my other job that I had here and I'd have to watch all the cameras and I'd see like things moving and the cameras would move by themselves sometimes and they aren't motion activated or anything they just were moving all about. I seen shadows a lot especially in the hallway out here that's right by my room um, 
and sitting in with her for those uh, escape the place things, seeing things on the cameras all the time. Seeing all things the walking through the hallway right next to us, we'd like look and yeah. there would be nobody there. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, the norm. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Hi there. How are you? Nice to meet you. Jason, how are you doing? Good. 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 Hi there. Good Michelle. Good. Michelle, nice to meet you. My actors have had multiple encounters in these areas. And then we did have, um, we had another paranormal team in here. I think I told you they okay. did a couple investigations um, last summer. Okay. And they had a um, intuitive or medium mm -hmm. uh, that, that always tags along and stuff. And they picked up all kinds of just really... Um, interesting vibes and, and all that kind of stuff. And I can kind of okay. show you that area too. The dreaded walk-in closet. Now this is, uh, man, I just got, I got really dizzy when I walked into here too. That's weird. I got that a little bit. This is, this is the room that we've had people just getting really weird. Okay, that yeah, is by, this by is the room we were in. This yeah. is the room that I didn't... Yeah. This is the one that smells funny. Yeah, oh, that, that room smells funny. It does have some music room. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll go to the... The, the oh, zombie? Right down by the door? Yeah, he's, well, he's yeah, kind of creepy. That was, a, that was a thermal photo. <laughs> well, I can't imagine the... Anything it looked almost like an apparition long. down there. Holy cow! Yeah, because that is the weird. dark blue is yeah is a com is a completely different temperature. I don't know. Is there an outside door right there or something? No, it's the it's the sprinkler control room, which is huh. fully enclosed, encased, and everything. Usually, you don't get that <clears throat> big of a temperature, temperature differential. Yeah, on a mannequin. Yeah. yeah. Um, this thing was actually made by a guy that used to work for us. Um. He was a costume designer and creator. Okay, interesting story about that guy. Um, we had talked to some people because the guy, the previous guy that built this, um, kind of went off the deep end. He, he really did. We, we had to act, actually ask him to leave the haunted house. He was, and it went beyond, you know, he had, he had a little bit of military service, but it went beyond PTSD and the fact that he was threatening customers and trying to fight customers. And then... The person that was asking us, it was like kind of a, a medium, intuitive, said, did he ever, did he want to be here all the time? And I said, well, he actually asked us if he could live here and like set up an apartment in the building. And she said, that's a sign that he's, a, something's attached to him or he's attached to something. Yeah, and there's he, something dark. And then he started, there was some, he did some very questionable things in the building too um, that we had to, we, I mean, we could have been sued for that. Um, we had to actually remove him from it, and we were like two, two or three different things that he was doing could have actually gotten us shut down. The, this needs to be cleansed. There's, right there. there's, it's still there's something dark attached to this. No, 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 no. Something's wrong with this room. Is it? Yeah. No. Don't like this room. Gotta go. Okay. Then that's just a. You don't call like that the body parts closet. These are the two bathrooms I was telling you about. Okay. The women's bathroom is where my daughter heard the little girl crying um, and then looked under there, nobody was there, and, and there was turned to devious laughter in that bathroom. And in the men's restroom next door, literally two weeks ago, um, is where I heard somebody either call my name or say, hey, you know, just a breathing. Yeah, so that's that one right there. And it, it happened twice within 30 seconds, yeah. And it, at the far end, I remember the, the stairwell just inside that door, Right after we bought the building, there was nothing in here. I was giving a tour to a guy that's been with us for a long time, working with the haunted house. And it was uh, me and this guy, ironically, his name was Jason. Um, and then Jeff, my business partner, was down on the main floor wiring, doing electrical. We're standing down, down there talking. I'm kind of telling him, okay, this room's going to be this. And we hear the, the most blood-curdling male scream. And I kid you not, it was like a, like a man dying, super loud, and both of us just froze. And this guy's, he's um, former army, um, he's got kids, you know, he's a, he's a grown man. We're standing there, and we just freeze. And I said, Jeff just got electrocuted. Because that, it was that sort of a scream, like somebody had just been, they were like dying or something. So we run downstairs, we go flying into the room, and Jeff's crouched down, wiring this outlet. And we said, Jeff, are you okay? And he just turned around and he goes, why? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> and we're just standing there just like, you know, just white, white as a ghost, just freaked out. And, and I said, Jeff, did you hear that scream? He goes, I didn't hear anything. I was here, I was here working one day and 
Jack, the other business partner, I was down in the main lobby where you first came in, and Jack was up here doing something, and Jack runs downstairs, and he said, Vince, come upstairs, you wouldn't believe what I just saw. So I run upstairs, and Jack and Jack, Jack brings, in, brings me in here, and there wasn't anything in here at the time, and we're standing over here, and actually we had these, these curtain strips, so the, the sheets, and the sheets, kid you not, were flapping like that, just like there was wind. And we stood there. I said, that's weird. That's, you know. So we started feeling around for heater vents. I went into the next room. Well, actually, as soon as I walked around, I walked towards it, and they just, in fact, they were just, they were just moving a second ago. They, it stopped. It just completely stopped dead from, like, flapping to nothing moving. Uh, it has been, here we are, January. Man, I don't even know the date. Middle of January. Um, several months after the season ended we've got a really cool activity slash event going on inside right now uh, we've got westcliff paranormalists and uh, they're doing a paranormal investigation we've we've since day one 2013 we've had all kinds of paranormal activity uh, going on in the building and uh, these are great people from canyon city westcliff they do a haunted house in, in canyon city as well and uh, they approach us about doing a paranormal paranormal investigation. And uh, so, yeah, just kind of a neat off-season activity. Uh, we've got a couple of our Hellscream uh, actresses that are in there. They're gonna tag along with the, with the paranormal investigation. Um, and so it should be a lot of fun. I don't do the real kind of scary. I don't do ghosts and paranormal. That's not my, my thing. I don't really care for it because it freaks me out. Um, I'll do all the fake scary, build the, the blood, the gore, all that stuff. But when things start, uh, going bump in the night I'm gone so uh, anyways I got here and met him and gave him a tour and uh, I'm heading home because this is not my cup of tea so uh, we're just excited to have Westcliff Paranormalist here and uh, happy to I'm, I'm excited to hear what kind of uh, results we get you know after the investigation it's gonna be neat to, to see what they find inside of that building pulled someone's hair while she was sitting on the couch. Can you pull my hair? Are you a patient that was in the nursing home here? Are you upset with all the activity that's going on in this building? I'm getting the name Charlie. Eighty-seven. Ever. War vet. So if you're here with us, can you turn on one of the lights, please? Thank you. Okay, turn it off for Flash. us, please. I, w I was always a non-believer in the flashlight game, but what's what's strange is that you could you could set up the lights in one room like we were in the in the hair pull room. And nothing, nothing happens. 
And then you can go into another room and you get stuff happening like this, so starting to flicker off. And and with these lights, when you when you turn them on and off, it's either completely on or completely off. There's no halfway. You can't do that by yourself. So that's another thing that's odd about it. Okay, turn it all the way off. Thank you. Yeah, his kids gave up on him because <laughs> cause he's just a big old grouch. Oh my god, stop. Um, Charles, I can't get a last name. Okay. He said, fuck you, you don't need my last name. <laughs> um. <sighs> okay, maybe your name isn't Tim. Your name is something other than Tim. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so your, your name's not Tim. Okay. Turn off the light for us, please. Light over there in the, in the doorway, in the other room. Oh, it, it went off. Okay. All right, so if you are a man, turn on the light for us, please. So no response. Are you a lady? If you're a lady, turn on the light for us. Flash. Oh, went on. One of the way spirits affect me is they will cause pain in my low back and um, so when I go on investigations the spirits that don't want me around will cause more pain in my low back um, I also get exhausted really easy when I'm working as a medium or as an empath and I get headaches so those are some of the things that I go through on every investigation that I go on did you work here oh there was again so we think it might be a lady who worked here Turn off the light, please. We want to ask you some more questions. That. It's like a schnauzer. Mouth, eyes. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. But isn't that weird? Where was that? It's right here. It's right here. I said, I want to take a picture. I would like to have a picture of you. And boom. Uh, I think you got one. That is so strange. Yeah. I wonder if. Oh. Hit play. Yeah. What's the next picture look like? Hmm? What's the next picture look like? We're not calling you strange. I'm just trying to figure out the picture. Will you come down here and talk to us, please? I didn't got just got that one and then it started messing up, so I was trying to figure out how to get back. I'm gonna let this run for just one more second and then we're gonna shut it down.
Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? Stay. Oh, honey, I can't stay. I'm so sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. We had several voices come through and when I asked it, how many that there were in this building. It replied seven, which was really clear. And I'm hoping to go back over the EVP and since I recorded it and we'll be able to pick up more. And um, when I asked if there was anything else they wanted us to know, it said stay. And it just made me so sad. I just got overwhelmingly sad. So, Can't stay. I had a really good time. It, it was, was really interesting. interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought I was going to be a lot more scared than I was, but it was actually just really interesting. Yeah, I wasn't scared. I was just really like into it. Yeah. Really excited about talking to like, them, I guess. Talking with them, I guess. A lot more happened than I expected. Me too. It was yeah. really cool. It was really interesting. Um, I think there was a lot of interesting things that happened. Um, it's a great initial investigation for sure, definitely. There's no, uh, no doubt there's something going on here, so it'll be fun to come back and after we review our evidence and see if we can get a little more insight into what's going on here and maybe have a little more information to use to interact with the spirits the next time we come back. I did have a good time. I think that it's interesting and fascinating. I want to. The weirder part is that I want to figure out how the technology works, but I probably don't have an explanation for that. But I don't care. I'll look for one. <laughs> um, it was really nice to talk to the little, the two guys or whatever the hell they are up in the morgue in the autopsy room, just because I've talked to them the whole entire hot season, and you're just like, I know you're there.